Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Bacon, and welcome back to Pokemon Black 2. Um, real quick before we get started, two things. One, I apologize about what happened last episode. I know I already did at the start of the last episode, but obviously the mic issue, it's fixed now. I tested it beforehand, and it should now be better. The second thing I want to say is we have a crazy dog uh, in the background. She is looking for something to eat. Uh, we're not giving her anything because she already ate. So, she's just being greedy, and now we have to deal with her being crazy. So, if you hear her going crazy in the background, now you know what that is. Um, another thing I actually wanted to say is, hey, look at that. It's snowing. It's wonderful. I don't know why it's snowing. Probably just because it's wintertime in-game. It's wintertime now, but, um, yeah. Uh, it's snowing. That's cool. Uh, but the other thing is, uh, I did a little bit of research, um, from the last episode till now. I found out that Mareep actually does appear in this ranch uh, in the wild. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be getting myself a Mareep. Um, and it was actually quite crazy. Riolu, no, can't betray it. Uh, Riolu was a 5% chance to encounter. Mareep, on the other hand, was a 40% chance to encounter. So I just got incredibly lucky that I ended up getting a Riolu and somehow didn't end. Oh boy, that was a tough hit. But yeah, I, I got very unlucky that I didn't end up getting a, um, a Marie. And Riolu is already down to four health. Ain't this a fantastic start to this episode? Riolu with the XP, there we go. We're pretty much just gonna keep grinding this out until Marie ends up spawning in. Azuril, all right. Well, this is just what we're gonna have to deal with. Hi, dog. Yeah, you're not getting anything. Screw you. Uh, I guess we can't really use Riolu. I'm still just gonna sit here. I want a Mareep, so I'm gonna sit here and get the Mareep before we progress. Because I just want myself a Mareep. You use Bubble. Alright, that's gonna do one damage. One damage! I, I freaking called it. I freaking called it. I also didn't realize that Azuril was actually only a normal type. I thought Azuril was a water type, but it evolves into a water type. It is currently just a normal type. And my controller is caught up on my headset wires. There we go. We're good. 9 XP, 14 XP. We are all good. Can I talk to the man's wife and get healed up? I don't actually remember. Because I think I tried this last episode and she didn't do it because I already got the hurt here. Ah, she does. Okay, perfect. So we do have our own little Pokemon Center right here. So we don't have to keep going back and forth. That's good. We'll just continue on then. And see if we can get ourselves a Mareep. I don't really know why I'm going in here to get a Mareep. If I can just... Uh, the, by the way, Psyduck, that's a new encounter. We didn't encounter Psyduck last time. Um, but we are just gonna keep going. I don't I don't know why I'm in here rather than... There, there is, there is a uh, patch of grass outside. Just outside where I am. That I can just go to instead of here. Because it's faster. So I don't know why I'm not doing that. But... Too late. We're just gonna spam quick attack with Riolu. There we go. Is that gonna be now level nine? There we go. Level nine. Do you learn a new move? No. I'm waiting for the time that Riolu ends up getting um, an actual like an actual good move that I can use other than quick attack. I d there it is, Mareep. Fantastic. Okay, Mareep, you're about to be added on to this team. I want you badly. Let's go. Quick attack. Perfect. Yeah, static. There it is. I actually like that because if it has static, that's going to be really good early in. That's perfectly fine. Let's keep quick using quick attack. Paralyze. Can't move. A tackle right there. That's fine. Just quick attack. There we go. Get that hit off. Into the red. Tackle me. That's all good. We go bag. We're going to go Pokeballs. And here we go. Mareep coming on to the team. With one, two, three, and we got ourselves a Mareep on this team. There we go. You know how I said I was just gonna catch Pokemon that I thought were really cool. That th this this is pretty much what I mean. Catch Pokemon that I think are cool, and we're gonna we're gonna move on with our lives now that we got ourselves a Mareep. We can completely leave this area. By the way, there was another thing in this game that I didn't realize was a thing, but um, after doing research yesterday. I found out that uh, there is actually a thing in this game called Hidden Grottoes, uh, and there was actually one in that ranch, and if you go into a Hidden Grotto, I'm not going to try to find it because I want to sort of stumble upon them, 
Ta-da! Oh, I didn't do Alder. Whoops. Yep. I didn't do Alder. So, let me go get Alder. No, that's fine, actually. But, uh, there's a thing called Hidden Grottos in this game, where there are some trees that you can actually just enter into just because you can. Um, like, you can just enter into a tree, and then it gives you a random, um, it gives you a random item based on a select few that can be within the tree. It can go anywhere from, like, normal Pokeballs to potions to, like, rare candies, uh, and stuff like that. So, it can be really good. If we come across one of those, um, that was, that, that's gonna be real interesting. There are apparently 20 of them throughout the entire game. So getting them is going to be really, um, it, well, not, I was going to say really important, but no, it's not going to be important at all. It's just going to be an added bonus if we are, end up actually finding them. So let's go down here. Let's go talk to Alder now, finally. I think there was a TM right there, but not there yet. We have to do this first. Oh, are you going to help train that person, sir? Uh, really? But that trainer looks really tough. That's right. This trainer may be tough, but you can learn from losing as well. More importantly, haven't I been telling you to enjoy Pokemon... Uh, uh, to enjoy Pokemon, I, I've already messed with that and said to be entirely honest. I'll be, in, I'll be completely honest. So, Bacon, please be the opponent. Okay, let's go. I'll show you what's. I'll show you what's cool about my Pokemon. Let's do it. Come on, Ashley. What are you doing? My dog's being stupid. I'm sorry, but dog, hop up, hop up on the freaking bed. There you go. You have to sit and stay. There you go. Pansier. I don't like that. Actually, I do like that completely, because it's Panseer. Panseer's easy. I have an Oshawott as my starter. I'm, I'm good. Let's go, Oshawott. Panseer's probably the worst of the pans, so... That's perfectly okay. We're gonna get a Water Gun out. There we go. Should one-shot? No, really! Despite it being super effective and stab, it didn't actually one-shot. Wow. Alright, well, that's fine. Just tackle it. Boom. Down. Done for. Pansier fainted. How much XP is that gonna be? 66 and 124 for Marie, but it grew two levels from that. Wow. Okay, Marie, getting up there in the levels. That was a fine battle, both of you. Well, next we have ready. First, we have to heal your Pokemon bacon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Some Pokemon battles are decided by the type matchups. Uh, I assume you're gonna have a Pan Sage. Called it. There it is. I, I'm pretty sure their Pokemon are determined based on what starter you pick. So the first Pokemon that you battle is going to be a um, the type that your starter is strong against, um, and then the second one's going to be the type that your starter is weak against. So there was also Pan Poor, which was the water type uh, Pan, the water type uh, elemental monkey Pokemon. But obviously, since I chose the water type, I didn't get that. Can I win this battle just from this? I'm curious, because I paralyzed it. Let's see, let's see. Lick? Lick's fine. I might, oh no, I can't be paralyzed. I'm an electric type, that's right. We're gonna see this, come on. Three more hits. If you keep using Lick, then we're good. As long as a paralysis comes in. You scratch, that's not good. No, it crit me, no! God freaking dang it, whatever. Ryo, get out there. That could, that could have been it. That could have actually been it. It's It sucks that the paralysis did nothing. It, it only affected it for one thing. Oh, now you do it. I see how it is. Now that Mareep is fainted, you know, the Pokemon I actually want to train is now fainted. 170 XP. Oh, boy. Let's go. Rio level 10 from that. That is fantastic. Holy crap. Good training right there. That was truly a rousing battle. I could tell that all that all, I could I could tell that all of the Pokemon were enjoying themselves as well. Nothing's changed since the last episode of this one. I still can't speak. My mic might be better, but my ability to speak words and sentences is not better in the slightest. And it probably will be bad the entire freaking series. So we'll see how that one goes. Dog, what are you doing, you idiot? She is an idiot. Okay, I'm saying I'm just sorry. I'm sorry, but that's just what it is. How about it, Bacon? Pokemon types are very important in battle, aren't they? Fire, Water is strong against fire. Fire is strong against grass. Grass is strong against water. Type matchups don't decide everything, no. But listen, when a Pokemon uses a move that, that matches its type, the move becomes more powerful. Yes, that is called that is that is called Stab. Same type attack bonus. It's called Stab. I believe it gets a 50% chance boost. I might be wrong there, but I, I, I think. 
I, that might be completely wrong, but yeah. Meeting Pokemon and people you never would you never would have met otherwise is truly one of the great things about traveling. So is that it? Nothing else in here? Wait, what? There's just Pokeballs there. All right. All right. So I don't think these guys have anything to say. Uh, one thing I want to check though is right here. Oh, wait. There's a person. I know this is sudden. Sudden. But nice to meet you. Now don't say anything. Just take this. Ah. Uh, okay. I obtained the metal box. Is that what I think it is? That is Metal Box, and people call me Mr. Metal. By the way, do you know a competition called the Metal Rally? No, I do not. I have no idea what you're talking about. Whether you're not, whether you're not, I'll explain it to you. The Metal Rally is an event that evaluates various activities of trainers. So, in commemoration of your participation, please take this medal. What does this even mean? And here's some help from the Metal Rally. It will give you. I'll give you the. I'll give you hint medals too. I received six hint medals. For your information, you can get medals if you meet their conditions. Go to a Pokemon Center and you get medals from me, one after another. First, please use your medal box and check the inside. Is, I think, is this guy like an achievement kind of guy? Is, is that like achievements? Bacon. As for the newly opened Pokemon Center, a Pokemon Gym in Asperdia City, I heard a new gym leader's arrived there. You should go and test how strong you become. All right, let's go. Wait a minute. Before I do... Well, okay, first things first. This Pokeball. An X speed. Can I get anything from behind the house? That ten, tends to be a thing. Nope. Not a thing here. Well, either way, this guy over here, this hiker... I don't know if I'm going to be able to see him from where I am without going to the tall grass, but... This hiker right up there. That hiker right up there. That guy has said you can't go through it here until you've gotten a badge. But there wasn't even a badge in Asperita City yet, so what is he on about? Whatever, it's fine. I gotta check this real quick. Well, frustration real quick. A full power attack that grows more powerful the less the user likes its trainer. All right, so that's that one. Oh, the metal box. Ah, crap. So let's use. First step, uh, a manual is wedged inside of the metal box. The metal box features, press the A button when the cursor is highlighted a metal or tap the box to the right of the name. The metal will be registered as your favorite metal. Your favorite medal can be shown to other players. Press start or tap the icon in the lower left to change how the medals are shown. Okay, so there is no path. Um, wait, so first step. Okay, so hint medals. There is no path in front of you. There will always be a path behind you. Save your game frequently. Yeah, when a Pokemon gets weak, go to the Pokemon Center. Yeah. Uh, have courage in fighting battles. Fight in link battles and sharpen your sixth sense for very for serious matches. Link battles. Get various Pokemon by Link Trade. Those, I don't think I can do. I think those are online exclusive stuff, and obviously I can't do that right now. Um, I don't know. It's weird. Hint Metal cannot be registered as your favorite metal. Okay. All right. So I, I think those are just, like, achievements. Uh, I can go check out. He said to be in the Pokemon Center. So let me go check him. Is he... I'm assuming he's just right here. Where he said he would be here. I don't know. Whatever. Screw it. We don't, we don't, we don't care about achievements. I, I don't care. We're just gonna go back this way. Bacon! Oh, how'd you get up there, Alder? <laughs> what are you doing? What, what on earth was he doing up there? Excuse me, I forgot to tell you something important too. First, take these. Orange berries. I'll actually take those. Those aren't that bad. Those are orange berries. If you give one to your Pokemon, its HP will be restored. What's more, you can give your Pokemon a berry to hold. Like this orange berry, for instance. When a Pokemon holds his berry, it can eat the berry if it gets hurt in the heat of battle and regain some of his lost HP. Yeah, so how the orange berry works is if you have, if your Pokemon, if, it, your, if your Pokemon is holding the orange berry and it gets hit below half of its maximum HP, then it heals 10 HP immediately after all the effects of the attack go through. Uh, well, I could have just told you to challenge a gym leader. Asperidus gym leader is very strong Pokemon trainer, but you have nothing to worry about. If you think hard about what the Pokemon at your side can do and what you should and what you should do as a trainer, victory will be yours. And then you should take on you should take on stronger and stronger trainers. Actually, take on gym leaders of each city. Working together with your Pokemon is what makes you grow as a trainer. And as you and your Pokemon grow stronger, your world will get broader. All right. Well. We gotta do that, and Mareep is up to level 7, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yeah. I'm actually going to, uh, no, not quite, because I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit of training. I think I, well, actually, no, I, these guys are gonna be extremely low level, aren't they? Oh, oh, level 4? Okay, I guess that's not that low. I think these guys in the first round are anywhere from between levels 2, 2 and 4. 
Um, and I was gonna, I was just gonna get Mareep up there in the levels. Um, well, when I say up there in the levels, I meant just level up Mareep once, because I believe one more level, and Mareep will get Thundershock. And that might be too early, it might be level 9 that Mareeps get that. Um, but... If I'm not mistaken, level 8 for Thundershock. And Thundershock would be fantastic. Level 4, again, perfect. This one should level me up, and then if I get Thundershock, then I get then I get myself an electric type move, I get myself a same type attack bonus move, and that would be fantastic. Thundershock also has a chance to uh, leave the target with paralysis, which is gonna be even better. Let's see what this pearl line does. It's just gonna keep growling. But we're gonna keep getting our hits off. That wasn't a crit. I got crap. I don't know. I feel like that should have been a hit. Ah, static didn't kick in. I don't know what the chance on static activated is, actually. I want to say it's 30% chance, but I actually don't know that at all. I don't know. I don't. I have no clue what it actually is. But Purloin fainted. 30 XP. Level 8. Is that Thundershock? Thundershock! Let's go! Okay, perfect. So we got ourselves Thundershock. That is exactly what we needed. I'm gonna go here. We are going to go here. Thundershock. And boom. All right, I'll move those moves around just so that easy access. Thundershock was the first move, and then Thunder Wave and Tackle will be the second moves that we can do. All right, whatever. Let's go. I know what the first gym leader is. I know, uh, and I know what their Pokemon are essentially gonna. I know what type they specialize in. I believe the Pokemon, the, the Pokemon, I believe the gym is right, right next to us. I was gonna say my goal was my goal for this episode was to beat a gym, but it, considering the fact that I've been recording for 17 minutes and we're about to go face the gym, I don't think it's gonna take us an additional like 30 or so minutes. I, I think I think the I think the very first um, I'm pretty sure this is this it? I'm, I'm imagining it's this. I'm I'm just gonna go tell this right now. I believe the first episode was fairly length. Uh, maybe a little bit shorter in some episodes, but I think uh, 50 minutes for one episode can be decent. I asked Elder from Flokesi Town to teach here. He declined, saying it was the era of young people now. Oh, is this? Oh, this is the Pokemon School, isn't it? Uh, do you like you? Do you do you use items during Pokemon battles? If you like, try using these. An X defend. X the the X the X items are bad. I'm just saying, they really are. They just they are just bad. Okay, he doesn't have anything. Uh, the Blackboard explains Pokemon status, battle changes. What do you want to read about? I do not care. Um. Uh, this way. Oh. Ah, there it is. Trainers. Charon. Certified trainers. No one. What does certified trainers mean? There's a technique that enables you to cancel evolution. Here, I'll read the textbook. Yeah. Press the B button to cancel an evolution, but I'm not going to be doing that like ever. I'm just talking to these guys to see if they have anything to me. Normal type Pokemon are weak to fighting type Pokemon, but the only Pokemon around here that are in that, that are like that Riolu in Fulkesi Ranch. If you're going to battle with, with a fire, water, or grass type Pokemon, it'll be a simple test of strength. Yes, the thing is, I have a Riolu, but their only move... Their only move is counter, and counter will fail if I don't take damage on the same turn. So that's the issue with counter, and... But, I mean, it is probably my best bet. I am gonna try to... I don't know what Pokemon uh, Charon has, but I am gonna try to go as far as I can. Ah, here we go. Let's see. Hello, I'm Claude, the guide for trainers who challenge Pokemon James. Thank you for taking on the gym. Take this to commemorate your debut. Fresh water, I'll take that. I believe that's a 50 HP increase. I'm not going to use that for a while. Pokemon gyms are facilities for testing trainers' abilities. Put simply, if you can defeat the gym leader, it means you're a really good trainer. If you run out of Pokemon that can fight during a Pokemon battle, you lose. So having a lot of Pokemon with you might work to your advantage. <coughs> I should have gotten water before this, before this recording. Man, you must be a challenger. Welcome to Asparagus City's Pokemon Gym. I'm Sharon, the gym leader. Hmm? Well, maybe I'd better say that I just became the gym leader. More importantly, we need to prepare before welcoming you to the gym. We have a challenger. You two, take your places. Okay, so I have to battle them first. If you can defeat these two, then I'll be your opponent. Yep. That's typically how it goes. You have to battle these guys anyway. So, Mareep, I am trusting you. I am I am essentially trying my absolute hardest to train Mareep as high as I can. Sharon saw potential in me and made me a trainer in this gym. Let's do it! Mareep versus... whatever Pokemon you send out. Pedro sends out Patrat. I believe they had another Pokemon though. Level 9. Okay. 
Marip at level 8 uh, might be an interesting fight, but I do... I can, I can very easily paralyze them. Leer, okay. I, I might need to use a Thunder Wave here, we'll see. Unless Thunder Shock paralyzes it. No, ah. Uh, I'm just gonna go Thunder Shock. I use Tackle, uh... Okay, it's Static. Okay, Static took place, that's good. That's perfect, yeah. Mariba's a lot- Oh, and a crit comes out! There's the Fate, 149 XP. That's a level 9. Let's go. What a crit at the right time. And a lot of XP there as well. Little Pup, level 9 as well. I should be good. Tackle. I am Leer. That is the one issue. Static popped in again. If this does half your health, I should be faster than you now because you're paralyzed. No. So, I don't want to do that. But I want Mareep to get all the X... Get, get all the XP. I'm going to go Potion. I meant to... That's my fault. I completely meant to throw on um, the orange berries before I did anything. Bite. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, I didn't do that much. I can get at least one more Thunder Shock off before I have to do anything else. There's that. Odor Sleuth. Okay, I don't know what that does, to be entirely honest. But we're going to get a Thunder Shock. Come on. If we get a crit here, that's fantastic. No crit. Paralyzed cannot move. Let's go. Thunder Shock. And that's the win right there. Level up, up fainted, and that is 149 XP. Level 10 Mareep, fantastic. Let's go. Already, Mareep will start. We caught Mareep at level 5. Mareep was already level 10. If you can defeat the girl too, you can challenge the gym leader. Okay, so yeah, that's the thing I want to do is right here. Item, I want to give you a Orenberry. I might as well give everybody an Orenberry. There's no point in not. There really is no point in not. I, I got five of them from that, from... I can't even remember who gave them to me, to be entirely honest. Uh, it was, uh, Aldo gave them to me. That's what it was. There we go. Just give everybody an Orenberry, and we're good to go. So I pretty much... I feel like I'm healed up enough. I think I'm healed up enough. We're gonna get Mareep... Get Mareep going right here. Let's go. I, I, I trust in Mareep. I do. I trust completely in Mareep. Level pup, level nine as well. Okay. I have so many ways with which to paralyze them. I have Thunder Wave, Thunder Shock with such a chance, and I also have uh, Static. So that's fantastic. We can just get a paral paralysis in there. There we go. Let's freaking go. Get a Thunder Shock off. Okay. Leer. Wow, you're not going to get a single hit. You did get a Leer off, and I believe this trainer did have another Pokemon. I might as well just use Tackle. There we go. Should be, what, 149 XP? 136. It is no another level, though. Level 11, Mareep. Wants to learn Cotton Spore. What does Cotton Spore do? Uh, let's see. What does Cotton Spore do? Re harshly reduces speed stat. I'll take that, actually. I'm, I'm, the chances of me using it are actually relatively slim, but I'd rather harshly reduce speed stat over uh, reduce... Um, I use Tackle by Whatever. Should be fine. Tackle. I am leered. That is one issue. Static came in, and Orenberry is gonna gonna get healed up. Okay, so we're gonna go up right here to 17. We're good. That dealt. I want to say like 10 damage, so we should be good. Just get two Thunder Shocks off, and have that be it. Use Leer. That's a win. Okay, that's great. That is great. That is gonna be a win. Use Tackle. Get that out. There we go. We're going into the. We're going into Sharon. To Charon. Let's do it. Mareep. Listen, Mareep. I do believe in you, but I'm going to swap you out real quick for Riolu. I, I, I trust in Riolu all of a sudden because counter is going to be super effective. Should be good to go. Let's go, Charon. Just as this is your first gym challenge, this is my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. Let's both do our best and have a battle we can be proud of. Yeah, the fact that Charon is a gym leader is interesting because I he was the uh, one he was the rival in the first Pokemon game, um, and you could tell he knew his stuff. So it, it only made sense for them to make him a gym leader in this game, and I really love I really love that they did. Patrat versus Riolu. Let's go. Get a counter off. Work up. Oh come on. Oh no. That's not good because your attack just rose. Counter just failed. A use tackle, how much damage? Okay, 21. That should be then 42 plus super effective. 
get, I wasn't super effective because I don't think counter can be super effective. But that was a lot of damage. We got to level up. There we go. This is why it's so good. We got faints. What does faint do? Um, hit the target using protect or detect. It also lifts the effects of those moves. It's not very good. Quick attack. Yeah, I mean, I prefer it over endure. So we're we're gonna get that and foresight are horrible moves. I'm just saying, they are really really bad moves. But there we go. Sent out level up now. All right, that's fine. Level 13. Okay, we're just gonna counter. Work. I should have. I should have expected that. I really should have expected that and got a quick attack off before I did anything. It's fine. Get another counter off. Use tackle. How much damage is that gonna be? Ah, god dang it. All right. Whatever, Mareep. I'm not even looking for Mareep to get, like, a finishing blow. I just want a Thunder Wave to get off. That might faint me, though. Oh, God. I, did it get static? No, it did not. Okay, I am choking. I am choking this battle. We're gonna have to just water gun it. Oh, and you worked up again? Tail Whoop's useless right now for me. It's faster. It just worked up again. Yeah, that's a loss. That unfortunately is gonna be a lot. It just, what are you doing, Sharon? Why, you're trying to overkill me. You could have just tackled twice and you would have won by now. What are you doing, Sharon? This is where revives are coming play, but unfortunately I don't have any revives. Tackle, oh, it didn't one-shot me. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, this crits. Ah, oh, dang. Unless you use work up for some, use a potion. Come on, man, you could have just won right there. All right, it's fine. We're just gonna we're, we're just gonna keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. If he doesn't use tackle, he use tackle. All right. Well, there. You see, that's what I was expecting to happen. It's all good. It's all good. It, all that to me, all that tells me is that we have more time to train up, because we can just defeat that little pup again, and we'll be good to go. Because Rio did gain a level from that. I believe what we have two level elevens and a level twelve against a level 11 and a 13 so it just so happened to be that i got sweeped because i was stupid and kept forgetting to use quick attack i still believe that ryolu can do that it's just i have to i what i should have done is expected him to use workout work up i should have expected that but i didn't so that that was my that, that was my downfall there well, whatever we're gonna get back into it take two we failed our first uh, battle I got the gym leader. Let him send up a trap. Okay, so now I'm expecting him to use work up. So I'm gonna get a quick I'm gonna get a quick attack off right here. There we go. Oh what he used tackle? That's new. You, now you use what 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 is that? <laughs> what is that kind of BS? Oh, come on. Now I'm gonna... F dog, what are you doing? Get away from me. My dog's tangling herself in all the wires. How much damage is that gonna deal? Not enough. That's gonna be 32 damage to you. Okay, there we go. Patrat fainted. That's good. 169 XP. Almost a level up. Not quite. And I'm just gonna assume Ryo's gonna faint, so therefore I want to get a quick attack off. And tackle. There we go. Okay, that's what I was, I was expecting to have happen. What I need to do now is get a th What is my dog doing? Oh my god. Go. Go. What? Stop getting tangled in all the wires. Go hop up on the bed. Oh my goodness. She is a maniac. That's what she is. So yeah, Thunder Wave off. Of oh, that statics kicks in. Okay, it didn't. We're good. At this point. I have a strategy right here. I said my chance of using Cotton Spore was relatively slim. I'm gonna get one Cotton Spore out to essentially solidify the fact that it's paralyzed and its speed stats down two. I'm just gonna assume that I'm gonna go first pretty much every single fight now. Or every single attack. Ease Bite. Okay, it's fine. It's paralyzed. It's down to about half health. Oshawott. Let's go Oshawott. This is what we gotta do. Water gun. It's paralyzed. As long as the paralysis kicks in. There we go. Okay, he's gonna use a potion here. No, he didn't use a potion. I'll take the win, Sharon. Why didn't you use a potion? What are you doing? 
You're supposed to be a gym leader. What was up with that? Focus energy. Uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Just gotta say. I'd rather not. Sharon, why on earth did you not use a potion there? That battle has made me feel really glad you were my first challenger as a gym leader. I give you this in honor of the strength you and your Pokemon showed. And there we go. Our first gym badge. And finally, I'm adding a gym badge to the overlay. There's the win. I'm still shocked that he didn't use a potion. I don't know what that was. The basic badge. Here's your first gym badge. Your, the basic badge is an important milestone. With this badge, Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. Uh, and, uh, and I want you to take this too. The TM Workup, which isn't actually all that bad, to be entirely honest, uh, can teach your Pokemon the move Workup. When you when you use Workup while battling, it raises its attack and special attack. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. In the Unova region, there are eight uh, Pokemon gyms and eight gym badges. If you're a trainer, you can collect all of them. That will make it easier uh, to fill the pages of the Pokedex as well. Yes, two years ago, Pokedex in hand, I left on a journey with my friends. Okay, well, that is one thing that's actually interesting. TMs can be used as many times as you want. That's obviously a thing in the newer games. I did not know that that was a thing in this game. Interesting. Hey, how was it? How did your pers battle Pokemon with the gym leader go? Oh, if it isn't the basic badge. Wow, amazing. And you just set off on your po journey with your Pokemon? You definitely have potential as a trainer. I'm sure of it. This is for me. It's the TM for, for the move Return. Return is the literal opposite of the of frustration. When the Pokemon, when a Pokemon knows Return, the, the more it gets along with the trainer, the more powerful the move is. So yeah, it's move... The, the uh, power of the move increases based on the happiness level of your Pokemon, or the friendship level of your Pokemon. Still, that Charon. Bianca, it's been two years, hasn't it? Oh, wow. What's up? I thought it would be a good idea to register each other in the X Transceiver. Now you can communicate with me from your X Transceiver. M me too. There we go, X Transceiver. I registered Professor Junior for you too. X Transceiver is ringing now, okay. From. The Professor, okay. Hi there, Bacon. I'm Professor Juniper. Bianca told me you accepted the Pokédex. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, we will be all, we, we will we will all know more about Pokémon and be able to get along with them even better. Hi, Professor Juniper. It's really interesting over here. There are so many cool Pokémon. There are so many Pokémon we couldn't prove. Well, um, we couldn't prove were here two years ago. Thank you for going so so. Thank you for going so far for this errand, Bianca. And Sharon, how are you enjoying being a gym leader? Professor Juniper, it's been a long time. I'm glad you're doing so well. The gym leader position is very tough. If I had my usual partners, oh, Sharon, having battles that come down to the wire will make you a, will make you a gym leader who deepens the bond between your challengers and their Pokemon, right? It will be fine. Sharon's a new gym leader. I'm an assistant Pokemon professor, and Bacon is a new trainer. But we always have Pokemon by our sides. That's right, Bianca. Our world is a world... Uh, where we live with Pokemon. Everyone, keep that in mind as you pursue your dreams with it, with your Pokemon. Particularly you, Bacon. That Pokedex may be important, but first, enjoy your journey with your Pokemon to your heart's content. And there's a lot of talking going on. Hey, Bacon, isn't Professor Juniper cool? If you talk to her in the X-Transceiver, she'll evaluate the completeness of your Pokedex or tell you a lot about how Pokemon evolve. And you can call us, too, of course. I'll tell you how, uh, how well you and your Pokemon are getting... Oh... So she checks our happiness, our friendship level. Okay, Bianca makes a good point. And I'll tell you what I know about, I'll tell you what I know about Pokemon abilities and Pokemon type matchups. Okay, cool, good to know. And Hugh. Are you the gym leader? One, two, three, let's battle. You look like a tough trainer. Understood, please come to my Pokemon gym. Dog, what are you doing? Oh my God. What was that weak answer? I'm definitely going to take you to you. What are you doing? Being a gym leader is even harder than I imagined. The next thing the next thing is to make it so you can use the C gear. The C gear is a cool device for communications such as infrared connection and Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. That I cannot use because I don't I can't. Please turn off the and so, yeah, I I literally cannot. Uh, will be restricted. Yeah, I literally cannot use it. I just cannot use it because I don't have access to online play. Therefore, it's useless. If you want to turn on the C gear, touch the power symbol on the top right of the C gear, uh, C gear screen. Then, after turning on the power, if you touch this question mark icon in the bottom right corner of the C gear screen, you can read about the C gear. Like, uh, what are you doing now? You know, there's another Pokemon uh, gym in Verbank City, which is just past Fulkesi Town. 
Well, actually, let me check. Can I? Is that? How do I do it? Oh, check the seekers activated in the screenshot. Okay, so I, I need to actually see because let me let me check this. If I do that, turn it. Uh, okay. What communications are on? Uh, closing the system. Put in the sleep mode. But what does this do? I actually want to see if there's anything I can do on here. I are wireless radar. What is radar? You can. No. Okay. Yeah. This is this is this is pointless. I, I literally can't use this because I am... I, I just can't use it. It's pretty much as simple as that. I cannot use it because I don't have access to online functions. So, uh, the Seagear is uh, pretty much useless. I can't... I can't... It's pointless. There's no point for that. Um, and we're just going to have to deal with that being there. But on the secondary screen, you can obviously check out the, what time it is when at the time I'm recording it. But that's pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna move on now. We now have the basic badge, and um, we can now move on with our lives. I don't know when I'm gonna end this episode. I think I'm gonna try to get to the next gym leader, not fight them, but at least get to them. Um, who is close to a level up on my team? I believe Ryolu is right there. Yeah, nine nine XP away. Uh, Ashwa 146 and Marie with 92. Okay. So, Ryo is the closest one. I could probably just do any battle, a battle with any Pokemon I encounter right here on this route. And I'll level up to level 12, I believe is what it'll be. So, let's do that. Is Ashwa at level 13? I'm pretty sure Ashwa is level 13. But, did, did, did he actually level up? Hang on. Yes, okay, cool. Ashwa did, in fact, level up. Get a quick attack off. That may or may not one-shot you. Oh, come on. When's the day I'm going to actually one-shot something? Two damage, that's fine. Dog is crazy. Dog will continue to be crazy until I'm done recording this video. So, that's fun. 12 XP for a level 12. Perfect. Ain't that fun. I am 3 XP into the next level. Fantastic. Alright, well, let's just keep going. Is there anything this way? There is literally nothing. But, I want to enter these houses to see if there's anything that I can get. Yeah. Oh, you have so many Pokemon. Seems to me that thinking about how to raise each one would be a lot of fun. Nope. Uh, what about you? As they wandered and searched Pokemon, people began making homes in much places. This ranch used to be a grassy, grassy meadow. It's now become a place where people and Pokemon can have homes together. All right. I don't. I, I don't necessarily think any of these people are gonna actually give me anything. I'll, I'll keep talking to them. And actually, yeah, that reminds me. This person pretty much told me to save. I'm gonna save because I don't want to forget. I, I just don't want to make. I want to make sure that like let's let's say like something ha bad happens and like the game crashes or something. I want I want my progress to be saved. So there we go. We're gonna save that and we're gonna we're gonna head on out. Now this uh, hiker up here should be gone. Bianca is chasing me. Okay. I'm sorry. I forgot to upgrade the Pokedex that I gave you. I'm going to add the habitat list. It's an amazing feature. It's just going the burrow. It's it's just going. I'm just gonna borrow borrow. This is burrow. Borrow your Pokedex for a second. Okay, my Pokedex is upgraded. Uh, what the with the habitat list, you can check what which Pokemon are in the area. Oh, so you said open up the Pokedex and tap the habitat list button on the lower left of the touch screen. Next, pick the area you want to see. You can see all all the Pokemon that live in in that area. It even tells you which ones you've already caught. Would you like to hear? No, that's fine. All right, I have a tip for you. When you're walking down a path, you'll sometimes see rustling grass. If you go to that spot, well, I'll, I'll let the rest be a surprise. I know exactly what happens. Point up the Pokedex will make your world bigger. So go to see many different places and meet many different Pokemon, okay? See you. All right, so the habitat list is something I don't think was in the first game, but we, if we do this, we go, uh, okay, I have to actually use my mouse to click it. Habitat and Route 19. Oh yeah. When on the Pokemon in the habitat you've been encountered, you receive a stamped. Okay. And route and full Cassie Ranch. There we go. Holy crap. <laughs> oh wait, does this only count for Pokemon that I've encountered? Oh, okay, so this is mostly for Well actually, no, that is actually helpful. Route 20. Um, there is a Pokemon on Route 20 that I actually want to add to the team. So, right here, let's uh, that actually helped me. I didn't realize the Pokemon appeared in this route. And there it is, Swaddle. I want I want a Swaddle for the sole reason that I actually looked up uh, the stats of Swaddle's evolution, full, fully evolved form, and they are really, really good. So I want a Swaddle on the team. <laughs> uh, issue is Swaddle until it's going to take a while for Swaddle to actually get up to that point. 
So it's gonna be probably a lot of grinding on how I'm gonna do off camera to get Swaddle up to a reasonable level. But should be an easy capture right here. And there we go. Swaddle, the bug grass type. I believe it's bug grass is on the team. Bug grass, our first dual typing. There we go. Give a nickname. No thank you, but we got ourselves a Sawato. So let me look up uh, actually both of these. Both of our new Pokemon. Mareep, I want to look at your stats. You have a lax nature, which increases defense for a decrease of special defense. And you have an increase of special attack for a decrease of uh, special defense. Which isn't good because Sawato is a, is a physical attacker. Uh, hey, that gleaming thing there is the basic match. But don't get a, don't get a swelled head. It's a rough world out there. Here, I'll show you. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Sure. <coughs> Hiker Jerome. Jerome, what are you doing? Yeah, you yourself a Riolu. Okay. And I have Riolu. Riolu versus Riolu. Are they both level 11? No, okay. Mine leveled up. I forgot I leveled them up. Okay, let's go counter. Use Foresight. Come on. At least I know I know his his uh, Pokemon's moves essentially. He has Endure, in Endure, Endure, fo uh, Foresight. What I'm assuming then is going to be Counter and Quick Attack. Come on, this guy has to have Quick Attack. Endure, okay. Brace yourself. What are you doing? What is this man doing? Endure, it failed. Yes, I wonder why it failed. Why were you spamming one move? What were you doing, Jerome? What was that? You did nothing. Alright, I'm beat. With dependable Pokemon like that, even a kid like you can hold their own against an adult. Yep. You did nothing. You literally did nothing. I don't know what you were thinking. Okay, so you're gonna be a trainer. Uh, Swaddle is now super low. Uh, I will, however, Swaddle is weak, but the only way I'm gonna really get Swaddle up there in the levels is to do battles like this with Sawaddle leading and then just shifting out to a Pokemon that's not Sawaddle so I can actually defeat the current Pokemon. So Psyduck, level 10, okay, Sawaddle, level 3. Hi, meet your match. Uh, now, goodbye and Mareep, welcome to the battle, Mareep. There we go. Water gun, and now I have a uh, type advantage, so that's gonna be really good. Thunder shock. Wow, it's faster than me. I don't. Marie, I know for I know Marie is a slow Pokemon, but it still shocks me that I'm going slower than some of the Pokemon that are on this that I'm meeting. I, I don't I don't get it. I feel like I should be going so much faster. 89 XP, almost there. Swaddle level four. Swaddle level five. Swaddle level six, seven. <laughs> What on earth from level three to level seven in one go? Holy crap! <laughs> come with me, come with me, you two. All right. I'm I'm still impressed. See the dark tar the dark tall grass here. It's rare, but sometimes two Pokemon pop out at the same time. Also, the Pokemon that hide in the dark grass are slightly stronger, so be careful if you walk through. If you're going to if you're going to challenge the next gym, it's the Verbank gym. Those these might help. Pika Pika berries. Pika? I don't know. I believe they cure poison. Both of you do your best. If you need anything, call me the next transceiver. I believe these those clear poison because poison is the next gym leader. Sharon sure knows a lot, and he fought those Team Plasma thugs too. I decided I'm going to get stronger than him. You should do your best. Fill up the poke. You should what? You should do your best? Why did you say that? I'm very confused. Fill up the Pokedex uh, and have my back. Got it? Alright, so he's just there. Oh, what you looking at? There's that there. Alright, uh, Swaddle. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'll keep Swaddle here. Let's see. We got ourselves a Great Ball. Okay, I'll take a Great Ball. So the Pokemon in here are typically stronger. That's actually good. If that's the case... Let's see, Patrat, level 10. Yeah, I'll take that. That's this is this is a good grass spot for uh for battles. What moves do you have? Tackle and string shot. Okay, that's horrible. Uh Mareep, you come on out. I really should be training Oshawott. Uh, because he is my starter. I think I'm assuming Oshawott's a he. I don't because the chan the chan I actually didn't check the gender, but the it's uh, for starter Pokemon, for some reason they made it that it is a seven out of 
it is a 1 in 8 chance that your starter Pokemon will be a female. That is the same for every single starter Pokemon ever. And I don't know why they do that, but that's just what they do. Okay, let's go. Tackle. It's fine. Static? Oh, no, but that was a good hit. But, oh, it went faster! Oh, now static. What? Why did, it, why did I go faster then? I am so confused. Oshawa, just get in there, finish it up. I wanted Mareep to get another level, but it seems like we're going to have to be waiting for that one. Paralyzed, can't move. How are you faster than a level 13 Oshawa? Oh my goodness. 41 XP, 67 XP. All right, there we go. Uh, I should just real quick go back and heal up because Swaddle's weak. Uh, Oshawa's now a little weak. Oh, no, Oshawa didn't take a hit. But uh, Mareep fainted. That's the main thing is that Mareep fainted. So I want to go heal up so I can get Mareep back because Mareep is close to a level. If I can end this episode, I don't think I'm going to because of... Um, Come on, get in there. I've been recording for 45 minutes, uh, and I don't want to... Oh, there he is! Now he's here! The freaking metal guy to my left. Now he's here. He wasn't here last time. I'm so confused. Whatever. I'm gonna talk to him, see if he has anything to actually say. Mareep's back, that's good. Hmm, bacon. I'd like you to collect more medals, so I'll give you, uh, hit medals. Nine hit medals. Well, I don't have any more hit medals I can give you. Uh, aim to receive 50 medals. Okay. Uh, why am I aiming to receive 50 medals? I don't, I don't know. But, metal box, let's use that. Uh, let's see. Um, rustling grass, dust clouds, rippling water, and shadows. Something might be there. Okay, so that's telling me about that. Get various Pokemon from Link... What? Oh. Oh, I see. Get various... Okay. Link trades. Wait, didn't I already see that? The path. Um, I... Use your seed gear and pass by... Okay, that was... That's what it was. Um, exchange friend codes. Okay, no. Uh, when you catch another trainer's eye, uh, take a feeling check. What? Take a feel... What is... Take a feeling check with many friends to get a high score. What is a feeling check? Gather up your friends and play mini games on the X transceiver. Can you actually do that? Many games to get a high score. Game Sync. It's a wonderful technology to connect dream and reality. Memory link is a mysterious nostalgia. Wait, hang on. X transceiver. Use. Can you... I'm not seeing it. Maybe it has to be... My guess is that it has to be an actual person. And I just can't... I can't do anything with it. So, whatever. We're gonna go. We're gonna keep going. Mareep is literally one battle away. Is Mareep my lead? No, Swaddle is. But is Swaddle close to level up too? Swaddle's also close. I might as well just get both of them a level. So let's let's just go. Continue on. Pro literally, a Pokemon on this route might be good enough to level both of them up. Mareep might be a stretch, but Swaddle with three XP needed? We're gonna find out right here if, it, if that's a necessary thing. Hey, it's Swaddle again. Level two Swaddle. Let's see. This should give me 3 XP. 3 XP, come on. I don't know how much Marit needs, but it can't be a lot. It cannot be a lot. String Shot. That's not very good. I don't like that. I, I just don't like that at all. I really don't. Thunder Shock. Not very effective. Really? Is it... It, I, 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 I did not realize that electric was like not very effective to grass or was a bug 4 XP There's a level up and 6 XP. There's another level up. There we go. Swaddle learn bug bite. That's actually really good Bug bite uh, as an early game attack is fantastic If I'm remembering what it does correctly Yes, yeah, 60 power 100 accuracy. This user's holding berry. It, it user eats it and gains the effects which could be decent, but it's not the greatest thing in the world. Um, I'm probably not going to put an orange berry on it just because I want I don't want to be able to waste an orange berry like that. Uh, yeah, let's let's get Swaddle up there in the levels. Let's go, let's go, little girl. Let's do it. Look at my awesome Pokemon. How awesome are your Pokemon? We uh, we will in fact see you uh, have one, which is a little pup. All right, let's see level ten. Swaddle. Do I believe in Swaddle to do this themselves? Let's see. Bug Bite, 60 power. With Stab? How much damage? Oh, it was a crit, but I'll still take that. Holy crap, Swaddle. <laughs> that was a really good hit. A real, real good hit. And there's the fame. Let's go. 197 XP? 
Sawara up to level 9. Just like that. Oh, I thought for a second I was going to be level 10 Sawaddle. Oh my god, I this is like the one game where it honestly feels like the XP yield is something bananas. And I love it. I absolutely love getting all this XP. Because it's not too much, but it's also not too little to the point where you feel like you have to train a crap ton. Dunsparce. Dunsparce. Of all Pokemon, Dunsparce. Such a weird Pokemon, Dunsparce. It used Spite. Yeah, because that was going to do anything. Why is Spite a move? That did almost nothing. I think because Dunsparce actually has good defense. But we're good. Let's, just, let's get another Bug Bite off. This might take a while. But I think Gunsparts actually has a decent XP yield, so I want to I want to see just how much XP that will give Sawaddle. You know, the lowest level on my team. Let's see, Spite. That's the only real issue, is Spite will decrease my, uh, the PP of, uh, Bug Bite. Oh, Rollout, that's no... Okay, now I have to switch out. I now have to switch out. Which is unfortunate. Uh, Oshawa. I'll just go Oshawa. Get Oshawa some some XP here, because I, if I get hit once more by Rollout, I'm screwed. And Rollout is a dangerous move because the more the more it the more consecutive times that it hits, the more damage it deals with each hit. It's just that its its accuracy is not the greatest, so that's why it's really difficult to deal with in situations like that. Twi quick attack. Didn't faint it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Even when it wasn't a very effective, I still fainted. No way. Come on. Tackle. There we go. <laughs> oh, holy crap. This Dunsparce did a number. 222 XP. So, auto 281. Up to level 11 now. Holy, that was not good. All right, well, I think we're actually close to the next town anyway, so we're gonna swap over to, to Mareep. And that will be that, so dire hit. I believe that guarantees the chance that your next hit is a uh, crit, but it's a, uh... oh, oh. Oh wait, did it just disappear? I saw rustling in the grass. Oh, it did disappear. I saw rustling in the gra grass on the top left, but I think because I got an item, it stopped. Level three, Jesus, that's nothing. All right, well, that's fine. If I can, if I can get an evolution, next episode should be an evolution. Oh God, okay, this is an issue. This is an issue. We might faint in this battle. This is a double battle, so we might faint here. Two Pokemon, strong and strong, come together to become very strong. Um, one plus one isn't three. What? <laughs> okay, one plus one is in fact not three. Lily, I believe Lily was the one who said it, because Mia, Lily, if you're on from left to right. Sunkern, okay. Wait, Sunkern, wait, is Bug super effective there? I'm gonna use Tackle because I believe Thundershock is not very effective. We are going to do that. Bug Bite went first, wow. Super effective, we got our first one shot, I think, of the series. There we go, 41 XP, got our Tackle off. Decent hit, Grass Whistle, and I avoided the attack. There we go. That is it. And just like that, so, oh, Tackle went first. Why did Tackle go first? Doesn't matter. We got the win anyway. Mareep might get a level there. There it is, level 13 Mareep. Is that a new move? No, not quite. Lisa and Lily are now, de are now defeated. There we go. And we should now, this should now be Verbank. Is, ah, uh, there's a thing. Hello, oh you. You were four Pokemon, but if you have more Pokemon, your journey should be even more fun. Here, I'll give you these, so why don't you catch more? I obtained Great Balls. All right, sure, I'll take them. How many? You, uh, you know what they say, cheerful company shortens the miles. How much did I get, though? Now, why did I check Pokemon? How much, how many po Great Balls did I actually end up getting? I got, did I pass it? I did. Two, two Great Balls is what I got. Because I I already had I already had uh, one from one of those items. Extra receiver is ringing. Okay, let's see. We got my mom. Hey, hi, it's your mom. Where where are you right now? Wow, Verbeek City. There's a complex there, right? Have you been there yet? 
That way, the way it looks at night, it's really quite nice. And you and and you can also train your Pokemon there. I really like how it's actually snowing on my side of the screen. That is actually really, really good, um, whatever it's called. I mean, no, I can't remember. There's a word for it, but, um, I can't think of it. You know, your Pokemon can do some things that, um, uh, you and... Uh, frick, I keep clicking too soon. I hope you can all work together and accomplish amazing things. Alright. Well, here we are. We're in Verbank City. Oh. Roxy, don't try to stop me. I'm off to po Pokestar Studios to live up my, to my true potential. My dream is to be a ship captain and a movie star. Get real. You're a captain already, aren't you? If that ship doesn't move, you're going to cause a lot of trouble. Oh, dear daughter. You split your time between your responsibilities as a gym leader and with your band, right? I can do that, too. Okay. Um... <laughs> you dim-witted, dense, dumb, daft, dippy, dork, dodge... <laughs> Dim-witted, dense, dumb, daft, dippy, dorky, doltish, doofus. Holy crap. Eight insults in one sentence. <laughs> Doing double duty isn't the problem. You're causing problems for people. Keeping people from getting where they're going because of sheer selfishness is unforgivable. I've had it. I'm going to the gym. So that, that is Roxy. She is, I'm assuming it's a she. Uh, they are the poison type gym leader of Burbank City, so we're gonna be meeting them soon. But, as we have now beaten Sharon, we've gotten our first gym badge, and we've now made it to Burbank City. We've caught Mareep, we've caught, um, Sawaddle, and we have grown as a trainer. I have been recording for nearly an hour, so I am going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure you slap that like button and subscribe for more. And I hope to see all you dudes in the next video. Peace.